What is up guys, this is Josh the Skill back here with another episode of Detroit Become Human. I'm not going to spend any time talking, I'm just going to get straight into the game and let's continue from where we left off. I keep forgetting that it has to load. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright, so the last episode was pretty good. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the heist, pretty good. And I feel like Marcus has got a long way to go. He's going to definitely become someone amazing. But, uh, I think we're going to be back with Connor, hopefully. Because Connor is my favourite character. So I play we're back with Connor. Oh, let's get this thing going. Doodly do, diddly do, diddly do, do do. All right, come on, let's load. Will not take too long. Let's not take it too long now. Oh no, it's stuck on eighty-five percent. Come on. Crap. Why is it stuck? Oh, no, there we go. 100%. The sexiest and Oh, no. The sex club. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Okay, let's get going. Jesus. Hank is my friend. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Please, Hank. I have a case to solve. Welcome to Ian Oh, jeez. Shit, that's a north. Is that a north? Okay, don't be too creepy. What the fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. Sorry, jeez, I'm just trying to have a good time. My god. You're not gonna take my license, are you? I mean, I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben, how's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I need. Which one's Gavin? Oh, Gavin. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? I'm like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Oh, you piece of crap. Night, Lieutenant. Investigate the crime scene. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Blue blood. Hmm. Oh, did I? I think there was one more, wasn't it? Jeez. You get in my way, Hank. Jeez. Heart attack, not the cause of death. Deceased. Michael Graham. Estimated time of death. Asphyxiation. Victim was strangled.
He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. and I reactivated you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. So it was the other android that strangled him. Is that it? Damn it. So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Search for Android Eyewitness. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Evil Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. <coughs> I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? I gotta remember that's our one. What the hell are you doing? A blue haired Tracy headed toward the entrance. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Shit. Hey, what? Let's try this one. This better be important. Return back into the club. It Here. saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go, go for it. There are androids everywhere. 
How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. It turned to the red room. You had to have seen it, dude. This is so, this is so disgusting. Oh shit. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Come on. Hank. Turn to the blue room. Hid in a room. It left the room. Well, Fled through the staff door. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking it. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. Fucking hate quick time events. Shit.
Oh shit! Are they in love? Quick! They're getting away! Shooter, jeez. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed, until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. Aww. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again, make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. It's probably better this way. Well, that was eventful. <laughs> That was crazy. I thought I was going to, um, I thought I was going to mess up one of those, um, the mashing, the buttons. I thought I was going to mess one of them up and probably die. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. That's going to do it for this episode. Uh, not so shorter episode, but I just wanted to do this one. And, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time for a new episode. Hopefully I'll be back with Kara. Uh, I think I kind of get the jizz of the movement of who you're going to be. So I think you guys, so next it'll be Kara, hopefully Marcus Connor. Kara, Kara, Marcus Connor. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time and goodbye.